Hi guys, just going to uh, give some people a quick demonstration of uh, of one of the ways you can get files downloaded off uh, off websites like c64.com, the programs running on a real Commodore 64 machine. Now, everybody who ever owned one of these knows that uh, that you had to load these games from cassette uh, when that could take up to half an hour. But part of being nostalgic is the fact that uh, some people, including myself, actually like watching the tapes load because you got pictures and music and silly coloured lines which uh, were quite amusing to watch while the uh, while the game took half an hour to load. So when I was getting back into this I, I was wondering what, what ways could we do that? So something I thought about was one of those cassette adapters that you used to use in your car you know before everybody had a CD player or MP3 players in the car you had to get this cassette that had a cable coming off it that you could then connect to your iPod or CD player or whatever. Um, so, if you didn't know, this is what I'm talking about. It just looks like a normal cassette, but there's no actual tape inside it. It's just got one of the actual cassette heads, like a bit like a recording head, uh, in the middle there. And off the back, we've got a uh, a wire which goes to a normal uh, a normal three and a half mil jack plug. So, is it possible to use one of these to connect to an iPod or a CD player, whatever, and play the sounds of a Commodore 64 cassette into it? and have the machine load it as though it's coming off a real cassette. So whilst re researching into this, I came across some uh, quite a few people who had already tried this, and in fact some people have gone to the trouble of, uh, of making a fantastic app that you can use on your Android phone or tablet, whatever, that will do this for you. So all you need to do is literally pop in the TAP file or the PRG file, whatever, uh, and this will do. So I'll just give you a quick demonstration of how that works. Uh, sorry for the blood quality of the video it's coming off a yeah it's coming off a, off a normal camera rather than my phone because my phone's being used here so what we do is we put the tape in there now this will work with the lid this this data set doesn't have a lid on it uh, it came like that it's off the guy that I bought it off but uh, but it will your lid will still close with the cable coming out because it's very thin so what you do is um, you use the app uh, pretty much self-explanatory you hit the eject key uh, it loads up all your tape or whatever program files, so I'm going to select one of my favourite games there, the Grid Loader, which is Bounty Bob Strikes Back. Um, as you can see, or not see, so that's the, uh, is it's actually saying press play on tape. So we're just going to wait for a second and turn the machine on. Okay, so we'll do a normal reset there, that's the action replay screen. Don't know if we can see that or not, but I'm just going to do the normal shift and run stop. So that's telling me to press play on tape. There we go. And on the cassette, I'm going to press play, and then straight after, press play on here. Don't know whether we can see that or not there. So that's playing it through. So what happens is it's now playing those sound. If you ever tried playing one in a cassette player, there we go, that's the found screen. So we can see it says found Bounty Bob, so I'm just going to hit the key there. And because it detects that, you have to hit play again on there just to get it going. So yeah, it's actually playing the sounds back through the cassette. If you ever tried playing one of these cassettes in a normal cassette player, you'll know what that sounded like. It was a lot of screen. It's a bit like this that's coming up, actually. There we go. Sounded very similar to that. Um, so what's happening is that it's playing it back through there, and the cassette player is picking it up. And there we go, fantastic US Gold Lord. I used to love this. Strangely enough, this this cassette, this particular model of cassette, it was a cheap one. I can't remember where I picked it up from. I just saw it there and thought I'd pick it up. It was literally just a couple of quid. Um, the actual cassette rolls, I can't even get that focused there. They don't even seem to turn, but that doesn't matter because the machine still thinks it's playing. Uh, and as long as the head can pick up pick up the sound that it's sending, it doesn't really matter whether the, the wheels are turning or not. Just turn it down. So we've got another 117 blocks. I'll spin the video on a bit when I come to pause this. There we 
There we go, it's loading, has actually finished, the tape's already stopped because the motor was controlled by the machine. And oh, there we go. So there you have it, for a couple of quid and a fantastic free app, which I'll, uh, I'll put the details of in the description, you can load the tape files with the original loaders directly from tape onto your Commodore 64.